And for our second speaker in the segment, I would like to invite Lexi and Olivier from our 2020 partner, Farce Grove, to join me on stage. How are both of you today? Thanks for joining at this uh, at this late hour from Australia. Hi. All right. So uh, in my experience, uh, Aussies are a social bunch, but I understand that the uh, Forest Grove Social Club has taken that to the next level in a very NIME and data analytics way, um, specifically using NIME plus Microsoft Power Apps uh, to build an application around the Melbourne Cup, um, which is a horse race. So can you tell me more about what you guys did there? Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining myself and Olivier tonight. Um, I do say tonight because, as Paul said, it is currently midnight for us. So whilst we would usually be up at this time at least a couple of drinks down, tonight it is a couple of coffees. <laughs> <laughs> to give some background information um, as to why we built the application, each year the Melbourne Cup proves to be one of the biggest events in Australia. And on this day in almost every office, a sweepstake is organized. And that just makes the race a little bit more exciting. As co-owners of Forest Grove Social Club, it fell upon both of us to organize this sweepstake. But as two people who live and breathe automation, we simply could not follow the convention, conventional manual method. So the pin names out of hat, dealing with the fallout of leftover horses, and keeping on track of all this with a pen and paper, we definitely needed nine. So we got to thinking, okay, we could use nine to randomize horses, um, assign colleagues and send bespoke emails, but what would we do with the leftover horses? And most importantly, how could we increase the price fund? Um, with this, we came up with the idea of bidding. And after several discussions of, and we landed on the idea of the nine web portal. However, one final idea came to Ollie. Yes. So we actually were thinking of using the web portal, like Lexi said, but we needed a bit more interactivity. We needed a bit more visual um, visualizations and so on. So we were opting more and more towards uh, Power Apps. And so we wanted to build a full interactive interface um, that was visual for all of for all our colleagues all across uh, Australia to join in in the bidding. So um, the idea was then to create a to use NIME with the workflows and its REST API uh, calls and the, that functionality together with Power Apps and my, and uh, Power Flow to create a full um, application. So let me share my screen to show you what we actually built. So first of all, I want to do a, a visual overview, and later on, I will uh, take you through the, our application and how we actually build it. Um, but this is our overview, and it's it's built out of three parts. So we have the front end, we have a back end, and to connect both of them, we needed an API. So the front end is built within Microsoft Apps, so that's our is our actual application, and in the back end, we use Nine workflows and the Nine tables um, to to cover all of the data. But to connect both of them, we needed a, a bit of glue because we couldn't use NIME workflows API or the API calls directly into Power Apps. So we needed Microsoft Flow to translate that JSON into uh, tables readable in Power Apps. So this is our overview. But let me show you, because this is all theory, but let me show you now how we actually built it, what it actually what, what it actually uh, was the result of all of this. So when they, uh, our colleagues um, received all the link and they clicked on it and then they came into this landing page. And this landing page is um, pow basically Power Apps. So the application is using, um, is data driven. And so it's using data from, from the um, API calls to get it with functionalities in Power Apps. So for instance, you see here a clock. And this clock is now a, is a, a countdown clock towards when the bidding is open. How this clock is um, calculated is with variables gathered from the API calls within NIME. But the, that, the countdown itself is done within, uh, func with functionalities in uh, Power Apps. Now, I will open this by simply clicking a few buttons and changing the variables in the back end in the NIME table. So for instance, here we have an admin button um, which will lead us to another page. I will change the date of the start time 
and saving this variable in the, the backend. By clicking the Save button, it will launch an API call to do that. And if I go back to my first page, now my clock will disappear and my Start Bidding uh, button will be revealed. So going into the bidding, we see all of our horses, the leftover horses after we um, assigned all of them to, the, to everyone that wanted to join in. I can simply click on one of the horses and enter a bid amount. Uh, for instance, $50, place the bid. Again, this is an, an API call going back to our tables in Lime. And it gives me a result saying, you are currently the highest bidder. Now for the results, I'll go back again to my admin page, change the date, again, one day less, going back. And now I have a different button, see results. And this will automatically call up the results, calculate them in the backend via workflow, and calculating out the amount that the highest winner, uh, the highest, um, the, bit, the, the, the winner has. So for instance, now my colleague Betsy was above me and uh, won $200. Now this is the front end, but let's have a look at the how it all comes together in NIME and as well in the, in the um, Microsoft Flow. So, First of all, let's go to Microsoft Flow. Again, this is quite simple. It's just a, a, a few steps that you need to enter where Power Apps is the, uh, the, the start. Then we do an HTTP call with our NIME um, link. So here you see that we have a NIME test. And they will then read out the JSON, file, uh, JSON um, data and then parse that so that we can read it into our Power Apps. So this was all Microsoft technology. Let's go now into NIME to see what it was, what, what, did that, what the workflows actually look like. So let me go to NIME. And this is one of our simplest workflows. So here we just simply read out the variables out of a table, a NIME table. We convert them to JSON, and we output them to JSON, uh, in a JSON output container. We need this output container every time we run all in a, um, a variable in a workflow if we want to return something to the application. Now, this is quite easy. We could have done this as well, as well in, uh, in the Microsoft Flow itself, but we wanted to keep all of our API calls in the same environment so that if there was any changes uh, to do or any issues that we had, we could look in the same uh, directly in, the, in, in one environment and not having to be in two different environments. So let, now let me show you something a bit more exciting in NIME, and that's more uh, the, where we get the results back. So the get results is a bit more has a bit more steps. So here we read our uh, assigned horses, we calculate our highest bidder, we join them together, and then calculate the total amount of our uh, and the place amounts um, for each place. Like have the the uh, the, the yeah, the winner, the, the winner, and so on. We then did some web scraping to f uh, find the, uh, the the leaderboard of the race itself. Combine those again and output it into our JSON towards our Power Apps, and that's it. That's how simple it actually is. That's fantastic. Back to you. Lexi. Yeah, it's great. Great to see. You. Great to see that. Uh, it's really a lot of versatility, these two tools working together. So maybe yes, uh, it is. maybe actually, uh, is it back to you, Lexi, or, or should we go to some questions? No, you carry on. All right, great. Anna, do we have any questions for, for Forest Grove? Yes, definitely. First of all, I want to thank you guys for being here. I know it's late there. Um, I actually have two questions. One is um, how often do these workflows run per day? So I think this is a more like general question for people to understand um, the load. And the other question is more is specific, is when would you use Power Apps? Why did you go for Power Apps in this case? So because the web portal is also um, a front end for the um, server. So just talk a little bit about that. That would be interesting for the audience as well. Thank you. So let me take the first question um, about the load. This was an application that people, I think it was around 20 people were using at the same time. Uh, and then our 
test server could handle that. So that was fine. Um, I don't know how if if we ever get it to a hundred or more, like a thousand people, how that would run. But uh, for twenty people, it was more than enough. Um, but I can't. I don't know how many times it was run at the same time. Uh, that kind of information we don't have. But it was working fine tr uh, during our sessions. Great, thank you. Cool. Um, yeah, I can take the second one as to why we didn't use the uh, web portal. Um, so we knew the web portal could definitely work for the basic bidding. So, you know, selection course, um, entering an amount. Um, but we wanted to just build a fully interactive application, um, which we knew Power Apps was designed to do. Um, it's also a very visual program, so it made it easy to create, much like Nine. And it also allowed us to push ourselves. So we pushed ourselves whilst exploring the power of NIME's integration with Microsoft Program. I think, thank you so much. I think those were the questions I had separated for us today. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. And thank you, Lexi and Olivier. It's a great application and a lot of fun as well. Yes, it was. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.